the new model rides on the same wheelcase as the fast but regular Panamera, there will be no long wheelcase executive iteration. It's neither longer nor taller, but the roof line is elongated, providing additional rear seat headroom and a slightly larger luggage compartment. Below its skin, the Panamera Sport Turismo offers most of their regular model's powertrain options, but all-wheel drive is standard. The entry-level model will be the 330 HP Panamera 4, the 440 HP 4s is one step up, and it will be a turbo model with 550 horsepower. Performance seems strong. Porsche claims the base Sport Turismo will hit 60 miles per hour in 5 seconds. The force will do the D to second faster, while the hybrid comes in between at 4.4 seconds. The turbo is obviously quickest of all, hitting 60 miles per hour in 3.4 seconds. There are a couple of neat party tricks too. For one, there's an extendable rear spoiler that pops out of the roof. Its three stages of deployment provide up to 110 pounds of downforce to the rear axle. At its resting position, in normal mode, the spoiler stays at a negative 7 degree angle for better aerodynamic efficiency, but deploys at 105 miles per hour into plus 1 degree. In Sport and Sport Plus, it deploys at just 56 miles per hour. And if you pop the panoramic roof open about 56 miles per hour, the wing moves to a plus 26 degrees position to minimize wind noise. It's a unique design after the B pillars, and so that means that the cargo compartment is different than the sedan. The loading edge is lower, 24.7 inches, and the total maximum stowage grows to 49 cubic feet compared to 46 feet in the sedan. The hybrid version uses a bit to the extra powertrain fixins, coming in at 45.7 cubes maximum. For the first time in a Panamera, there's the option of a three across rear seat. Well, more of two individual seats plus an occasional use middle place.